to Table Talk. I'm your host, Alex Stearns. I'm joined by Logan, Jeremy, Harley, Brody, and Trevor. So, today's topic is uh, school. So, who wants to begin? Just school? Yeah, just like... Lunches. Like, lunches are... Wasteful spending. Education. The, like the lunches here, like... They're small and they're... They're, they're small, there's not enough. They, it, like, they cost way too much. They, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's really kind of a big issue. I mean, they've been reducing the size of it while, while increasing the price of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember back when like, well, it was like eighth grade, it was like a dollar thirty. It was like a dollar eighty. Lunch. And now it's like two eighty. And you get like just four chicken nuggets. Yeah. Four. Like, high like school. eight. Nuggets. Yeah. We, we get fed the same amount as kindergarten. Yeah, and they and if, if they can finish third, that way. But we just everyone's gotten larger portions back then. Yeah. Yeah, but if, if they can finish. If they can finish, that the little kids can finish uh, their food, then they can, they, they should feed us more because we need, we need more food. Let me shut the door. And like the extras cost the same as the whole tray. All, uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, they don't give you sense. enough, but they also offer you the option to get more, but that cost is double. So it would just be like, if you just got the extra, then you'd be fine. Like you just got the main dish. Yeah. It's just this filling. Yeah. I mean, if you also, if you compare us to other schools, even around the world, they get so much more than we do with more it is, variety. It's actually like cooked food. It's not like canned potatoes and canned ham and canned stuff and like that. You know, like it's, it's like they, they actually cook the food. Yeah. You know, it's just, not frozen either. Yeah. Our food's like frozen and then you can taste like the freezer brought on it the next day. Yeah, yeah. Also, the milk that they provide us. Sometimes, the it's, sometimes it's just frozen. It's, it's like, like they got it from the. I, I remember. I remember for 1%. Yeah, the pink one? Yeah, I, I drink the pink one. That's what I get. I remember back when I was in elementary, junior high, that we had Dean's milk. And that stuff, yes. I drank that all oh, the time. Chocolate milk? Yeah, I, I love I would the drink, Dean's chocolate milk. And then, yeah. I drank yeah. True Moo once and I threw up. Is the it True Moo by Dean's, though? Yes, but it, but it was also it's also they're healthier brand like there's less milk. It's, it's like the Great Valley of Pop Tarts. I, imagine, <laughs> imagine, uh, imagine chocolate like ch chocolate milk, but instead of milk, it's water. So it's chocolate water, you know. But that that that's what Trimu is. Which makes no sense because it's, it's like nice. sludge. Yeah. yeah. The, time. the first oh, time man. I drank Trimu, like what, the first time, was like okay, let, let's just try this out because it's like they don't get. Dean give us Dean's milk. They just like here's true milk. You better drink this. I drank it. It was so gooey and plumpy. It was yeah, gross. I I even dumped it on my plate and I gave it back to him. It's like, what is this? Where's the Dean's milk? It's like, yeah, we, we couldn't afford Dean's anymore. Not, not to mention that the fruit they give us, it's not like fruit. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's, it's can. You look at it. it but I was uh, even just at my old school and last year they had more apples. Like every, almost every other, almost every week they had at least. One lunch with an apple in it. I love that. Like, and at my, at my old school, they had apples. That were like, apple was one of the things you could get every single day, and I would get an apple every single day. Because you got fresh fruit, and now yeah. we don't even get fresh. It's fruit. nothing here is fresh. And if you like, look at the bananas they give us. They're not even right. brown. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're bruised all they're the time. Bruised, they're bruised. Yeah. Like they, they're, they're green and brown. They're not even yellow and brown. Most of the time, they're not even ripe. What? They just. But they, they are huge. Them. I'm weird. They're I like fruit bananas. Were we talking to you? No. <laughs> no bashing. I approve. Well, I now just did. No bashing. Like right now, I'm looking up the, even like around the world, like Swedish school lunches. If comparing it to our lunch, this looks like something I eat at dinner. Yeah. Yeah. That, that that's cooked food. That's like it's cooked. Look that, at that. That's not. That's not just like. And they actually have silver, like like, in a glass. Like, 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 that's not that's not just taken from like all right let's see what we can uh we force can down their gullets today like trays. looking at this i but typically don't like peas there's but also i take i want to eat that yeah yeah there's also a big, I like, these, like strict regulation of school food lunches and stuff like that though for them to get government funding for it yeah they get government funding for food that we that no no one likes you know that kids actually throw away most of their lunches now yeah it's yeah. like it, it's, instead of eating it they just to get it and then eat like two or three things and you just throw it away. That's what, that's what I do. And now just recently, when, you know how like the pipes broke on the dishwasher? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, now they give us foam plates and plastic forks and spoons. And it's like, you gotta be kidding me. 
Are we dead? You, they did switch Are we, back. Though. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did switch that, but then they went back to the foam plates. And it's like it's not you really, actually had to throw away your plate. It's it's not really that. It's not only like their fault that they that the the pipes froze. Yeah, like that that's the, that's the weather outside. It it's frightful. But it's also bad for the environment that we have foam like stuff. Yeah, and we used to be able to like buy our food. Like, yeah. you can bring in McDonald's, now we can't do any of that. And you can bring in food, but it's got, when you get to school, it has to be there too. You can't say, well, hey, yeah. can you bring me food during school so it's warm? You can't do that anymore. Well, Unless it's like your birthday or was, something special for a team. I was, I, talking to, my I was talking to some of the adults that actually went to school here before any of us did. They were like, yeah, we used to be able to just go to like piazzas. We used to be able to just leave school and go to McDonald's and Subway and all that. Like, why can't we do that now? It's because that's, that's like the only thing I understand though, because our generation, we are irresponsible. Yes, man. I wouldn't they, trust any of us. Yeah, I've I can I see. see. <laughs> I see <laughs> how they don't trust us to come back, but I don't see how we can't. I because like my brother and sister, they're out of here. They do nothing all day. They can bring me food. Yeah. I personally, food. I personally would come back because honestly, I have no, I don't, I don't have a job, I, don't, I can't get a job, so I have no money, so what am I going to do for the for my entire day? Sleep, video games, <sighs> my. Yeah, but that, that, yeah. That, that's something that's easily cleared up with a call to your house. Yeah. Like, if you're being irresponsible, call your parents. What about like, parents that don't like? And they'll say you straight. Yeah. That's also another thing about the school systems, like, irresponsibility, you can also take that from how the school doesn't teach us like responsibility. life skills like I don't know how to pay my taxes we're learning geometry and I'm 18 I gotta know how to pay my yeah. taxes you're moving to Florida this summer aren't yeah, you? yeah I'm moving to Florida see you guys geometry, <laughs> what? geometry make, learning geometry makes no sense to me because personally the job that I want to that I want to be has no need for geometry it, it doesn't I don't I don't need to learn how to like do proofs and stuff like that like I want to be a zoologist. I, I do need to know how to do I algebra know, and stuff like that. Like, but I, don't I know, know more about the structure of a cell and a plant cell and an animal cell than I know more about today how to do your taxes, Balance how to do most how to things in life, how to, how, buy a car, how how to, to pay off mortgage, bank account. how to use a credit card, how to pay off that credit card, how to get good credit score. I have I no idea how to do any of that, and I'm 18. Well, actually, the school's trying to do something about that. They they have the Miss Kenzie's class. Yeah. And yeah, but Miss Kenzie okay. Miss Kenzie is stuck in her old ways. The way the way she teaches doesn't work anymore. The way the the way the way we're taught doesn't work anymore. People are different. You can't you can't just teach everyone the same way and expect everyone to learn. You have to you have to. It is it is more work, but you have to you have to work towards the the, the students the student strength and not for. Not for little Jimmy back to 150 years ago. It worked for him, so it worked for everyone. Oh, poor little Jimmy. <laughs> Schooling, the, the, way, the way students have been taught hasn't changed in over 150 years. No, the only thing that's changed is the school lunches. <laughs> and the Chromebooks. They thought yeah. that would help. That backfired in their face so well, bad. A lot of kids don't have inter internet access. Inter it's not that. They thought, they got it. It's like, this is for school use. No, me and him were actually talking about this the other day. Nobody we know actually wanted to get that thing. And then they got mad when we did what we wanted with it. Yeah. Like, you can't make somebody do something and then get mad about how they actually do it or use it. Yeah, I, I prefer to just go back to books, books. and stuff. Like, yeah. Cause that's a lot I, of have, I have no problem with carrying around like eight or nine books or notebooks or anything like that. Those because muscle. also <laughs> just thinking, the Chromebooks. We're, our last How often do you guys play? actually use them in class? I barely use them. I know one teacher that uses it on a regular basis, and that's Mr. Levi. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Le Mr. That's Levi. That's it. He's the only one that puts that thing to use. Yeah. And if you're like in Mrs. Bloom's room, she has computers there, so you don't even get on your, your Chromebooks. You have like desktop computers. Another big issue is that teachers, now that they have, we have the Chromebooks, are signing a bunch of like big presentations and big slideshows and everything, and a lot of kids who are just used to the normal workload of like, I do this paper, I do this paper, are getting a little freaked out because, hey, now I have to do this giant assignment twice Health a week. issues. It's causing stress. School nowadays is causing so much stress and anxiety. And depression. We've gotten those <laughs> Chromebooks and the my grades have like, the um, Yeah, my grades have plummeted because we've had have Chromebooks now. The stress level of a high school student nowadays is the same as the stress level of a uh, patient in an insane asylum in the 1950s. 
That's not good. No, no that's it's not. not. This needs to change. It, and, and, it's not going it, to. And when it comes, when it gets there, in order for it to change, there has to. Sorry, sorry. In order for it to change, there has to. There has to be a one for it to change, and no one wants to change because it'd be too much work. Which, it's sad, but it's true. Sorry, as you were saying. But they, <laughs> <laughs> when it and when it comes to like school and like that, like the school doesn't really put it on itself. It's government standardized stuff. The government would rather see us get good grades on a. Test that we're never going to actually put to use than to have us succeed in life and actually be mentally and physically healthy. They, they, us they like, don't care at all. Yeah, they, 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 slap, they slap grades on us like pieces of meat. Like last year, <laughs> me and Harley were juniors. We were bombed with tests. In English, we barely even learned anything. Because we were always testing. Every every month, there's like That's five awesome. big tests. It wasn't even do. every month. It was like every week, if you actually think about it. It was a nightmare. Also, like, same testing. I remember we were talking in Miss Carroll's class, and we were talking about how standardized testing has no benefit on us. Because, you know, like I-STEP, you, you, you do the I-STEP class or the test, and then, you get your like, test, you get your results at like the year. end of the year, after the end of the school year, you finally get your test results. But that doesn't matter because you have no idea how you did on that test, but it has no effect on your current grades. Yeah, but that's that's another issue is that I step isn't really meant to like, in my opinion, isn't meant to just go into high school and go to through every grade because eventually it gets to the point in high school where if you fall behind in one class in one segment of like learning. You're completely behind on the test. Not necessarily. Though. <laughs> <laughs> like me personally, like uh, um, just going back to the Chromebook thing. Chromebooks, along with the Chromebooks, instead of snow days, we have surprisey learning days, which yeah. completely I, screws me up because I don't have Wi-Fi. So and and they're saying, oh, you can come to the school if the weather's bad enough to cancel school. I'm not gonna walk to the school, like. And so that, that, and not to mention I only have one day to do it, so I have to do that instead of my homework that I had, so the homework that they give me. So I, 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 get, I get so far behind, like my grades dropped an entire letter grade in every single class la um, last time there was an e-learning day because I was so it's far It's so one-sided because the school expects you almost like to adapt to the school. Yeah. Say so you get computers. They, they expect you to get Wi-Fi. They expect you to go above and beyond to adapt to their expectations, I to told, their changes, basically. I was told at the beginning of the year that if I didn't have Wi-Fi, the school would provide it for me, but now they're saying that they never said that. But they did, because I remember. Yeah, they, they, said that, they said that if you didn't have Wi-Fi, they would provide Wi-Fi for you, because they were planning on using the Chromebooks a lot, which we all know is not true. Well, they barely even use the Chromebooks, so they should yeah. just take them away. Like well, most the, of the, the thing is they can't take them away now because because the, because the way they, they told their teachers to teach is so ingrained. Like they use classroom to put notes out and stuff. They, 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 won't, they can't take it away because it's already ingrained in the way they teach now. So I, do, I, I personally think if we're gonna have Chromebooks, then we should have, we should, it should, we should pretty much go fully digital, which I don't agree with because what if you drop your Chromebook in the, in, in, in water or something, then everything is gone. Your notes, your books, everything. What if there's a power outage when you're at school? You can still learn if you have a board and piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and everybody in this building, in junior high and high school, they have a smartphone. Smartphones have flashlights, so when you can't see, everybody shine one up. It's simple problems the that can't be solved if we don't have Chromebooks. And if you break it, sometimes, I remember like when we first got them, a lot of stuff was happening to the chargers, like the part you plug into the computer was breaking off, and they expect you to pay for that when you do absolutely nothing. You pull it out to take it, and it just breaks off at random. My, my Chromebook screen, um, the, the left side of it, when if it moves a certain way, it, it goes dark. Like, it doesn't, like, like, I can still see, but it's, like, shaded. I'm not, I don't have money, like, I did research, like, it's, like, 60 bucks in order to get a new screen. I didn't do anything to it, like, I don't have money to change it, so right now I'm, I'm stuck with with like my screen, I have to set my screen a certain way. And I I'm scared to like let any of the tech guys, he's like, my computer messed up, but uh, everything was blocked on my computer. So I went, to, I went to the tech guy, the one that's not nice. 
Zach Schaefer. No, no, uh, no, no, not, no, not, yeah, not nice. Okay. And, and, and no, I, I, ha- I handed it to him, and I was like, I was like, all right, don't turn black, don't turn black, you know, because if it would have done that, I would have been forced to pay for it. And I don't have money at all. There's like, also, there's also another thing, like students, they, you know how like sometimes your computer, they, it dies. Yeah, it happens because you. You didn't charge it the night before, so you're always handing off your charger to different people. And people are always asking you, "Hey, can I borrow your charger? Hey, can I borrow your charger?" No, because I already lent it to someone else. No, because I need to use it. But then also, that leads to people stealing other people's stuff. My, char- my charger has been stolen twice. The charger I have, and I have no idea where it's at. So I asked the tech guys, "Hey, can I can I get my new charger?" It's like, "Yeah, sure, here we go." But then it's like, if you break the main computer, the expensive part, they ask you. It's like flat out, hey, you need to pay for this. It's your fault. I, I, um, the charger I have now for my Chromebook is not the same charger I started out with. <laughs> like, like, um, the charger, I, the, the charger I started out with, it stayed in my computer. And then someone took it and switched it out with one that all I had to, would have to do was lift my Chromebook up and turn it sideways and the charger cord would fall out. They give you crappy stuff. Like if someone breaks your actual charger cord, yeah. then they'll give you one that doesn't even like really work. Yeah. And if you break your Chromebook, they give you one that really doesn't work. That if it breaks again, what are you gonna do? Are they gonna give you one that doesn't work? Yeah. Like the uh, the computers they have at Plymouth, they have MacBooks at Plymouth. I I completely abhor Mac, Mac MacBooks, but um, they 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 are better than Chromebooks. Like uh, what what Plymouth did was they had like a group of students test out different computers and tell whether or not the um, they were they were good to use. We're out of time today, so I see you next week on Tabletop.